Gator's all fixed up and ready to go. Ugh. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please, none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today is an exciting vlog because of the simple fact that yes, it's not clickbait, it's not cap. Vader is finally 100% back, I believe. Now, obviously this is the first drive. I literally just got it back. Um, and what we ended up doing was replacing the entire gear shifter. Now, if you guys have a automatic Camaro, Malibu, Impala, things of that nature, this could happen to you. It is a common error with the gear shifter itself. Basically what happens is You'll put your car in park, as you guys have seen in previous vlogs, if you guys have been in the loop with all the videos and been staying in tune with the daily uploads, then you guys would have seen, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you park your car and you put it in park and when you go to get out, the car throws this message at you. Now, that being said, there is a fix to this. What you can do is you can take the car to your local Chevy dealership and the electric technician will basically plug in their computer into your car. Um, and it's kind of like a reset that they do in hopes to fixing the issue. Now, if the issue persists, right, like my car did, then the next step is to actually replace the entire gear shifter. Now, like I said, this is the first drive with the new gear shifter. I'm not 100% sure if this, you know, 100% fixed the issue or not. We probably won't really know until like the end of this video. Um, and really like maybe a week or two after, just solely because when I shot the previous video, the initial video, getting my car back after, you know, doing the relearn, we still had the same issue come back again. So that being said, bro, it's kind of hit or miss. But I'm really confident that I'm not gonna have this issue anymore because the entire gear shifter has been replaced. Um, that being said, you know, I think Vader is back. Now, I'm kinda, I don't wanna like overshoot it, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm hoping that it fixed the issue that I was having with the shift points, as you guys know, man, um, I've been having this issue where when I shift my car or the car shifts, it's like, it's kind of laggy in between the shift and it's not every single shift. It's, you know, every other shift, it's like certain shifts, it's not all of them. So I don't really know 100% if this is gonna fix that at all. If it does, then cool, if it doesn't, you know, it is what it is. We just gotta keep, you know what I'm saying, checking things off the list in hopes to finally find the actual issue and resolve it. Now, with that being said, y'all already know what your boy has to do, man. I gotta get in at least one solid pool to really see, like, you know what I'm saying? Is this joint shifting like a 10 speed? Or is this shifting like a tuned eight speed? You know what I mean? And there, for those of you who don't know, there is a very big difference. No cap, <laughs> no cap. The 10 speed just shifts like butter, man. Uh, honestly, these transmissions, Chevy and Ford, they definitely did their thing with these transmission, man. And also another thing, if you guys didn't know, Chevy and Ford worked on the 10 speed transmissions for both of their vehicles together. This was a collab between 
Ford and Chevy. So like the Mustangs have the same 10 speed that the Camaros have. The only difference is, you know, it's a Ford, it's a Mustang. They're gonna throw in their own little giblets and whatnot to, you know, make it a Ford and make it a Mustang. So that being said, y'all, what we about to do is I'm gonna head down to Mexico. And once we get to Mexico City, I'm gonna do a nice little pool, probably from like a very, very low roll. It might spin, it might not. Nine times out of 10, y'all already know, Vader likes to break Jackson a lot. So nine times out of 10, it is gonna spin. But that's not like what we're worried about right now. We're not worried about getting traction. We're not worried about if it spins or if it doesn't. What we're worried about is the shift points, how it shifts. Also, the weird shifting would happen during normal driving too. Like legit normal driving, doing the speed limit, cruising, chilling. It's like the car shifts hard as hell on certain shifts. And then I have that issue where it's like on certain shifts, it's kind of laggy in between the shifts on what. So that being said, y'all, we about to see, we about to see. Did swapping out this gear shifter fix all of my issues or did it fix the main issue, the shift to park? We'll see right now, man. But like I said, I'm about to head over to Mexico City. I got like a little bit of a drive, I can't lie. So I'm not even gonna bore y'all with it. Obviously, y'all see, we're surrounded by regular traffic. So once we get into Mexico, I'll be able to get that pool in for y'all. And I gotta hurry up because it's about to rain here in the States. And I don't really know how, you know what I'm saying, the Mexican weather is, you feel me? I don't know if what happens in the States affects Mexico and they weather too. So we are gonna find out when I get over there. Hopefully it's not raining over there. If it is, then I'm gonna have to put this video on pause today and pick it up tomorrow. Cause I can't, I can't leave y'all with a cliffhanger not knowing is it gonna work or if it ain't, you know? And as y'all can see, man, the raindrops, we not in the drop top. <laughs> so, sheesh, let's go ahead and get over to Mexico, man. No cap. All right, y'all. So, we made it into Mexico. I'm not gonna lie, on the way over here, that little shifting that I was telling you guys about, I'm not having issues with. So let's see what's up with this little pool. We're gonna do a little 20 roll. We back at the JIHQ right now, as y'all can see, man. And from the clips that you guys just saw, I think it's safe to say Vader is back, bro. I have not felt this car shift like that in a very, very long time, bro. I can't even lie. I can't even hold y'all. This joint is moving crazy, bro. Like, I don't know. We gonna see. Um, but... I'm pretty sure Vader is back. I don't think we're going to have any more issues. I'm super stoked. I'm super excited. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you're happy for Vader to be 100% again so we can get back into the dope content, the modifications, the racing, the drag strip nights, all of that, man. Give this video a big thumbs up because I am sick and tired of my drag pack just sitting here collecting mad dust y'all no cap bro look at this look at this watch this oh my god <sighs> jesus still got some rocks on there from the last burnout them stickly mickless them stickly mickless you dig big welds man stop the games stop the games S71 is the best looking welds in my personal opinion. Second to the beadlock S71 is no cap. But back to Vader, man. Like I said, if you're hype for Vader being back, get his video a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what content you guys want to see. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, man. But without further ado, it's been your boy, J.I. I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.